Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel where I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you. Today I have an amazing video with three St. Patrick's Day signs that are so easy and fun to make. Each one came out so adorable. So if you like to see what I did, keep on watching and let's art today! To make our first sign of the collection, I have this leftover pumpkin sign from the fall season at Dollar Tree and this trick and treat sign from the holiday season from Dollar Tree. To prep the sign, I'm taking the first square sign and I'm going to cover it using this scrapbooking paper that is 12 by 12 inches and came from Over the Rainbow Recollection Paper Pad from Michaels and it was on clearance for $5. To adhere the paper to the sign, I'm going to use this Gorilla glue stick that I found at the 99 cent store. You get six glue sticks for $1.99 and I thought that was a good deal. I went ahead and traced the paper out to fit the sign in the back and I'm just cutting it out. I really like this scrapbooking paper. It is really thick and it has this glittery texture on top which you can't really see but it's really nice to use. After I cut it out I'm just using that glue stick and I'm showing you here how really sticky it is and then I place it down. For the next sign, I want to use the cauldron out of this trick and treat sign, so I'm taking a box cutter and I'm cutting it out of the border, making sure not to break the border because I want to use that at a different time. Please remember when using any kind of sharp objects to be very careful and just like that, it pops out of the border and I'm just cutting off the little handle and now it's time to prep the cauldron. To do that, I'm just going to use another scrapbooking paper, this black one with a nice texture and print on it. I'm just putting the cauldron in the center of the paper, tracing it out, and then I will cut it out. Before I adhere the paper down to the sign, I noticed that you could still see the wood on the side, so I'm taking black acrylic paint and I will paint the outer edges of the cauldron. Now that the paint is completely dried, I'm taking the Gorilla glue stick, adding it to the back of my paper. I also go in with hot glue and glue in the outer edges to make sure that the edges have a good seal. To decorate the sign, I have some of this gold diamond wrapped. I'm just trying to figure out which side I want to place it on and I went with the two outer edges. I measured, cut it out, and then I hot glued it down. Now I will be hot gluing the pot of gold to the back of the sign, keeping it into the center, and then I will decorate the cauldron using these gold coins that I had left over from a previous project. I'm just hot gluing them down to the top of the pot so it looks like it's overflowing with coins. I did want to add some words to the sign and I didn't have much but this leftover St. Patty's Day sign that has a bunch of words on it. I'm taking my box cutter and I'm cutting off the two bottom words that says pot of gold and lucky from it because at first I wasn't sure which one I was going to use but I decided to use both. So after I have the placement where I like it, I am just hot gluing the signage down to the pot and the top of the sign. Next, I'm taking three gold coins and placing them down to the right, hot gluing it so that it looks like a little pile of coins had fell out. And lastly, I'm just taking a white paint marker and making some highlights on the cauldron just to give it an extra detail. 
And here's how this sign turned out and I really love it. I know I went a little bit much with all the extra details but I think that's what makes the sign so much fun and cute to have. You can hang it up, you can put it on a shelf, in anywhere you like it and I just think it's so cute. Let me know if you like it in the comment section down below. Jumping into DIY number two, I have this 11 by 14 picture frame and this wooden truck all purchased from the Dollar Tree last year actually, <laughs> so I had it on hand. I'm removing the dupe twine from that truck and I'm going to paint it using my Irish green chalk paint that I absolutely love for this season. Now normally I don't decorate using this truck sign that I know that is really popular all around YouTube and crafters. I'm not really a big fan of the truck but I do love this DIY. Do you decorate using the truck? Let me know in the comment section down below. Next I'm taking my Java chalk paint which is just a dark brown and instead of painting it directly on it I'm wetting the tip of my paintbrush to make it more of a stain and not pure paint and then I'm taking a paper towel and I'm damping it off so that once again it can be a stain now just taking some black acrylic paint and filling in the wheels after I place that to the side to dry, I am going to work on the picture frame. I remove everything from the picture frame, including the glass, and then I'm hot gluing that insert to the back of the picture frame where you hang it on the wall. Now I wanted to decorate the back of that photo frame using this duct tape that I had on hand that is rainbow printed, and I will place it horizontally all the way down. Now that the back of the sign is completely filled, my truck is completely dried, I wanted to add some gold coins for the rims of the truck. So I'm hot gluing two of those gold coins down. Then I will insert the backing back into the picture frame and hot glue the truck into the picture frame as well. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is decorating the sign. I have some of this foam scatter that are in three leaf clovers and some gold coins, and I will hot glue it to the back of the truck. I first lay out the gold coins for the base, and then I really wanted the three leaf clovers to be the majority of the hull in the back of the truck. I did also add a three leaf clover to the door of the truck. Then I was trying to figure out to place wordage on this sign. I first started going in with some window clings and then I decided not to use them. I used a leftover word from the sign I used earlier that said shamrock. And lastly, I added a cauldron, uh, hot glued it to the top of those three leaf clovers so it looks like it's pouring out. And lastly, for extra detail, I'm going in with a black paint marker and adding little dashes and dots to the truck. And here's how it turned out. Once again, I absolutely love this sign. I think it's so cute. It's bright. It's festive. I love how the cauldron looks like it's pouring its goodies out into the truck. And it's so cool that you can hang it up or even place it on a shelf. Once again, let me know in the comments section if you like this sign and also if you decorate using that truck <laughs> in your decorations as well. For our third and final DIY sign, which is, I think, the easiest one out of the three, I have this leftover home sweet home sign that I'm using to make the sign and then painting it using that sheepskin chalk paint that I absolutely love, but I'm only giving it one coat of that paint.
After the paint has completely dried, I am sketching in a three leaf clover using a pencil. Now, there's no wrong or right way to do this because I am going to cover it up. And if you have a Cricut machine or a big enough sticker, to, you can use that for this part. I'm just freehanding it. After I have the sketch where I like it, I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to fill in my sketch using the hot glue. Then I'm taking some of this floral green moss and I'm pushing it down into the hot glue so that it covers the inside of my sketch. I will continue this process until each petal is completely full. Then I take my scissors cutting it down the excess floral moss so that it gets close to the image that I'm going for which is the three leaf clover. I continue this process until the three leaf clover is completely filled. I did go in and add a second layer of floral moss and now I'm just cutting the excess off again making sure to get close to the original line so that the three leaf clover looks a little bit more crisp. And here's how the three leaf clover looks with it all trimmed out. Lastly, I just wanted to add a gold coin into the center of it. So that's what I'm doing, hot gluing the gold coin in the center, making sure the words are facing out. It has a little saying on it, which I think is really cute. And lastly, I'm adding a green paint pen marker to the outer edges using that dashes and lines that I normally do on this sign just to give it an extra detail. And here's how this one turned out. I absolutely love this one also. I think it would be perfect in a tear tray or a little space on your counter pretty much anywhere because it's so small and it's so simple but it'll add such a pop of St. Patty's Day to your home decor. Here are all the signs that i done today and I absolutely love it. I love how bright and colorful it is but it ultimately goes straight to St. Patty's Day which is the theme obviously. A lot of you have mentioned before that a lot of crafters aren't doing St. Patty's Day this year and I have noticed it as well. I have a couple more videos to share with you so if you would like to see that be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I upload a new content and I would love for you to be part of my virtual art family. If you love this video as much as I did please be sure to smash that thumbs up button it really does help out my channel thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one